the solution to this example so the first thing we need to do is use the rate function so I'm going to go find the rate function the most difficult thing here is what is the number of periods so we are seeing we're going from 87 to 18677 if you count you need to count that movement as a one two three four okay so it's not five because you've got five years it's one so it's up to four so there we're going to put in a four what's the payment we don't have a payment what's the present value I need to put in a minus our starting point what's the future value I need to put in our end point so what we're asking Excel is over four years how do we get from a minus 8718 to a positive 18677 type I'm just going to put in a zero when I say okay I get my percentage 20.98 percent let's just check the proof there's our opening balance it then grows by that percentage there's a result in closing balance and if you see that then continues to grow until it hits 18677.3 18677.3 so we know that the correct cumulative annual growth rate is this 20.98 percent now getting the same number using IRR so first we need some helper cells so over here we're going to say this is equals to minus the starting point we know we want to end up at the end point and in between we're just going to put zeros now we have to put zeros if we leave them blank the RR will not necessarily handle it correctly we can come here we now find the function IRR and all we need to do is point at those values so when I say OK you'll see it gives us the same answer so that's correct another way to calculate the CAGR CAGR is using XIRR so now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the dates here so I'm going to say the date to start is that date over there the date to end is the last date on this date what's our number it's going to be equals to minus that number because IRRs need negatives and positives what's the end number it's that number over here you can now set up our X IRR point at the values point at the dates and when you say OK you'll see you get a slightly different number that's because this is taking the actual number of days into account in the years so leap years etc as opposed to this which is just assuming a constant time period